Hi, it's Denise from Wonderland Boutique and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn a new type of bow to make and that is my three loop bow. And what is a three loop bow? Let me show you a couple instances of bows so you can see what they look like. So these are what I call three loop bows. And obviously they have three loops on each side, but a total of six loops. Now this is a bow that is hand sewn meaning um, it's not just hot glue so you are going to need some additional supplies to make this bow today uh, well, first and foremost you are going to need 3 8 inch ribbon of your choice I have a couple different spools here that I am going to be choosing from um, the, in the center you'll notice there is a little design for each bow these are called cabochons um, there's all different types of centers you can use for this type of bow. I did pull a couple examples. So these actually are stickers from Recollections. And what I do is they have these like foamy sticker pad on the back as I take those off. So those you can use for the center. Uh, these are actually buttons that I bought from um, Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby. So they have the little button hoops on the back. All you do is cut those off. These are, what are they? Oh yeah, <laughs> it'd be good if I could remember. These are scrapbooking stickers. And again, if there's anything on the back, I just take it off. Um, these are a couple other little examples of little cabochons. So it's really whatever you want to use and you find that works. Um, so you can have a big stock of it and make your bows and then decide what you want to put in the center. It's totally up to you. Um, to sew these, when I say hand sew, so you can use a couple different variety of sewing. So I personally use embroidery floss, which I brought up an example so you could see what it is. This is the DMC embroidery floss. You can get this at any craft store. Joanne Fabrics, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, I know you can get this on Amazon um, and a lot of other places. I personally like this because it's thicker. It's she said then traditional uh regular um thread like regular thread and needle is a lot thinner than this and then i use an embroidery needle uh, again it's a bit thicker than a normal uh sewing needle because you do sew this by hand so then you're going to need something to anchor your needle. I have a piece of cardstock. I'll show you what I mean by anchoring it, but you're going to fold your piece of paper in half and you're actually going to take your needle and thread and put it straight through so it sticks straight up. So once I zoom in and see everything, you'll see what I mean. You're going to need your hot glue gun and glue. And in every video I say it, I have my really ratchety looking Hot glue gun because that's what I use in real life. You're going to need scissors, grab two pairs, size does not matter. Um, so whatever you need, spray check. If you've watched my other videos, especially video one, the most essential video, you need a lighter. Awesome. There's hot glue strings everywhere. Normal life, uh, something to fray check your ends and then something to measure with. I have seamstress tape here. So I'm going to show you how to do one colorway, meaning make this bow with the same ribbon throughout. In my other examples, you'll see that I used different color ribbons. So it's three different colors. This one is two different colors. I'll save that for a different tutorial. But for this one, we're going to use one that has all three of the same ribbon. But these are super cute. You know, anybody can wear them from kids to adults. They're great on your American Girl dolls. Also, if uh, you have a dog, they're perfect on the little tufts of hair at the top. So these are really versatile bows and they really go with anything. Uh, pigtails, the, the whole nine yards. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in, I'll get the station set up so you can see everything and then we'll get started. As I mentioned in the beginning, you have your needle and thread threaded. And then of course you need to tie a knot at the end. So then you're gonna place it through your paper on one side and have your needle sticking straight up. That's key to making this bow. Now I've decided to go with this pink and white 3 8 inch ribbon because I think I'm either going to do, I think I'm gonna do a unicorn center because I love unicorns. So 
How much ribbon do you need for this? You need three pieces, so three pieces of six and one quarter ribbon or 6.25 inches, however you want to call it. So I call it that first little tally mark, the first big one. So I need three of these. So what you can do, I mentioned these other my other videos, you can measure it up to the ribbon you just cut or you can measure it on the ruler again, what's ever easiest for you. I like to just measure it against the ribbon I already cut so that I can have the equal lengths. I just find that quicker. And then I'm gonna get my tape measure out of here because we don't need it. So next step, okay, now don't forget from lesson one and all my other videos, I talked about fray checking. I'm going to line my alligator clip now, which is from lesson one. So I am going to speed through some parts of this because my other tutorials have a lot of the basic steps that you need to make this. Alright, now that you have all three of your ribbons fray checked, what you're going to do is you're going to fold each piece of ribbon in half equal lengths and you're going to crease the center. And then you're going to open your ribbon, find that center where that crease was and put it right onto the needle. So right where you made that middle. So you're going to do that for each of your three pieces. So make your crease. Fold in half, equal lengths, make your crease, find that crease and put your needle right in the middle and do the same for your final piece. Okay, so now you can see I've got all the ribbon put together on our needle. So you can mess around with the ribbon to put it, you know, different way you like. There's a couple different methods. You can start from the last piece and build, or you can start from your bottom piece and build. I prefer to start from my bottom piece. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your bottom ribbon and the end of the ribbon, you're going to fold over through the middle of the end of the ribbon and put it onto the needle. Okay. And that's how you make your loop. So the middle of the end of your ribbon, put it through your needle. And now you have one loop. Okay, and you're gonna do that for your next ribbon. Go in order in which you put it on. So I'm doing my second piece second, my third piece third, and I'm doing it and just folding it over. Okay, now nothing is permanent yet because we haven't sewn it in place. So you can take the time to move your loops around a little, you know, rearrange it however you like, whatever works best. Okay, so now I've got my three loop bow with six loops, okay? So what you're going to do, I like, I like how this looks. I've, you know, played with the ribbon a little. I've got the loops how I like them. What I'm going to do is bring the needle through. Now, if you have any issues using the needle, like grip wise, you can always use a pair of pliers and use that um, to help you with your needle and then you pull all the thread through and you pop it through the paper so you've got the knot on the back okay so now that i've done that you want to pull your your thread tight take a look at your loops make sure everything is still the way you like and you're going to send your needle and thread back through the center of the bow to the bottom just like you were pulling a needle and thread through anything you're doing the up and down there we go. You're just threading it through just like a traditional needle and thread. Okay. Now you want your bow to be secure. So I do a couple passes of my needle and thread. So something else I do is I'll put the, I'll get it started through the back and to save my hands from all my lovely carpal tunnel and decorvings tendonitis, I'll 
push the needle and thread through the bow that way to uh, ease my pain on my fingers and my wrist. Because like I said, I had carpal tunnel and decreer veins tendonitis surgery. That's what these lovely marks are. And it's between my full-time job and Wonderland Boutique that I got it. So thanks so much. So like I said, do a couple passes. You really want to make sure your bow is secure. Nothing is going to move. I mean, you probably don't even have to do this many passes, but I'm OCD and I would rather be safe than sorry. So this last pass to the back of the bow, so the bad side of the ribbon. Hold through tight. I'm going to finish it off. So I'm just going to take my needle, run it through the ribbon, pull it almost all the way closed, and then where there's a little bit of thread left over, I'm going to run the needle and thread back through that little loop and make a knot and tie it off. And I'm going to do another pass. And then you're going to cut off your excess floss or thread, whatever you're using. And so you've got your, your bow. Now, next step, done with your paper, you're done with your needle and thread. What I like to do, and you can do this in any particular order. I like to put the bow on the alligator clip next, then put my cabochon on top. You could put your cabochon on first, then put it on the alligator clip. Totally up to you. I like to put it on the alligator clip. So I'm going to put glue on my alligator clip and I like to gob the glue on there. Not too much where it seeps through, but enough where I know this baby ain't moving and it's nice and secure. And I like to check the back, make sure it's nice and even across the bow. So it is nice and secure on my alligator clip. So next thing to do is choose my cabochon. I was looking at this unicorn, but I think it's too much pink. And I like this little rainbow. That's cute as well. I do have these ponies. I wonder how this rainbow looks. I think it's too small. Let's see what a, a pony looks like. Maybe I'll do a purple pony. Hmm, yeah. Okay, and like I said, since these are buttons, they have the little loop on the back right here. Let's see if I can show it. Right here, all you do is cut that off. I'm using wire cutters. Now it's gone. So I'm going to use the pony. I think the pony's cute. Yeah, that's nice and big for the center. So I'm going to take glue and put it in the center of the bow. Right where I want the pony to be. Push down on your pony or your cabochon or whatever you're using for your center. And there it is, it's complete. How cute is it? Welcome back makers and congratulations on making your three loop bow. Here it is close up so you can see how cute is this bow. I love it. Turned out excellent. Now, if you have any questions at all, please be sure to leave me a comment below or hit me up on Facebook or Instagram so that I can help you during your process of making a three loop bow. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a great big thumbs up and make sure to share and like this video and hit that notification bell so you can find out every time I post a new video. Now again, this is a three loop bow. If you watch my other tutorials, it will give you a lot of those basics such as how to line an alligator clip, how to fray check, um, those things that you need to get started in your bow making journey. So I really hope you enjoyed this video today. It's Denise from Wonderland Boutique and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.